हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए न्यू टॉपिक फ्रॉम योर साइंस बुक चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज चेंजेस अराउंड अस एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज चेंज और व्हाट इज चेंजेस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ओनली वन टाइप ऑफ चेंजेस टूडे ओके सो लेट्स बिगेन ओके एवरीथिंग अराउंड अस is undergoing a process of change so when we have to introduce this chapter we will always say that change can occur everywhere at any time and changes is a continuous process some changes are reversed and some cannot be reversed and changes may occur by heating a substance or by mixing it or with some other substance okay so such as uh, any changes like our hairs the nails keeps growing leaves die new leaves takes their place while some changes in our environment which are temporary or can change back to their original position other changes are relatively permanent let's see some changes now we will see some common changes taking place in nature every day we come across different types of changes turning day into night night into a day then rising and setting of sun and moon changing of climate then melting of ice and a lot more and these changes occur in a minute or may take a longer time few changes are not even noticeable okay so in the next slide we will see some changes here you can see in the above portion there are two pictures of sky sky at a sky two sky picture with different time okay so there are changes according to the time at morning time the sky color may be varies from the uh, evening time okay in the next picture you will see this is a picture of germination of seed so a seed also undergoes such changes and when a seed starts germinating it's grow into a new plant so this is such changes okay next on the basis of changes around us can be classified into two broad categories first is reversible changes second is irreversible changes today we are going to discuss only about reversible changes okay so let's come what is reversible changes reversible changes can be described as changes that can be reversed by reversing the action or changing the condition means that can be undone or reversed these changes are observed in the physical state size shape of the substances and the reversible changes does not create a new material such examples like melting ice boiling evaporation condensation etc are example of reversible changes so here freezing of water also rolling of chapati from duff and you will see some more example with picture in the next slide okay here i have given two example molten ice cream can be changed back to its solid form thus melting is a reversible changes and melting of butter and chocolates are also reversible changes okay here you can see the same thing that i have told that water can be changes into ice when it undergoes freezing or cooling process and that ice can be turns into water droplets or water form or liquid form by heating or melting process so such uh, such for such reason this is called this freezing and melting or reversible changes okay again such example uh, as the melting of chocolates when it is heated then it become melted and when it is when it is cool or uh, by the process of freezing it become solid again okay so in this picture you will see there are three process evaporation condensation freezing this all are reversible process okay 
so uh, if you capture all the steam that is made when a kettle boils and you could turn it back into water by cooling it and some other example of reversible changes are folding a paper then blowing a balloon okay these all now can you just uh, remember what is evaporation evaporation is the process of a substance in a liquid state changing to a gaseous state due to an increase in the temperature and pressure okay so it is the process by which liquid state is converting into gaseous state due to increase in temperature or pressure and this is the main fundamental part of water cycle that is constantly occurring throughout our nature okay so this is a reversible process that's why water cycle that is occurring in our nature okay next is condensation what is condensation can you remember i hope you can remember this condensation is the process by which water vapor water vapor means water in its gas form turns into liquid it happens when molecules of water vapor cool and collect together as liquid water and water vapor can be found on the outside of cold glasses then the warm side of the windows and in the clouds up in the air so i hope you understood this condensation process too next another process which is also reversible that is freezing what is freezing why there is need of a freezer freezing is a process when liquid turns into a solid one example of freezing when water turns into ice i have shown you in the previous slide that freezing is the opposite of melting and two steps away from evaporation and freezing occurs at below 0 degree celsius with water while some other liquids becomes a solid at higher or lower temperature okay i hope you understood this